Hello everyone, it's Roxy and welcome down the Bitcoin rabbit hole. Today I'm super excited because we're going to do a first full node tutorial. So we're going to use a Raspberry Pi and host Embrel, which is going to be like a full node Bitcoin, right? Uh, this is going to be more the technical part and the whole tutorial aspect of it. So creating the Raspberry Pi, plugging it Umbrel, the Bitcoin core, and having the application running on my laptop. Uh, if you want to know why a full node is important, or if you want to go all the way down to the big utility of Umbrel and how you can do like a, a BTCP server, how you can add Lightning Network on top of it, it's going to be on, on some other video. I want to really focus more on the technical part of setting, setting up that full node. If that's what you want, let's go. Warning, falling down the Bitcoin rabbit hole brings freedom. Thanks a lot to Shami Guru for giving me all the pieces to make the Raspberry Pi and this tutorial on this full node. I was trying to do it more around mid-2021 and he literally gave me the pieces for Christmas. So I have no excuse not to do the full node tutorial right now. So let's go. So for this tutorial, we're going to use a hardware device, which is basically going to be a Raspberry Pi. So you can either buy it on already made, you can buy some kit online and make it yourself. It's up to you. And then we're going to use Embrel and so Bitcoin Core for the software aspect. What's going to happen is that we're going to create the hardware, then flash the SD card with Embrel and Bitcoin Core and then plug them together to make the whole full node running. Obviously, this costs money because you need the, the hardware device, right? It's going to be around 200 bucks, more or less, of material. And then you simply need a PC and a connection to Internet. So the first step is really to get on your computer and search for Embrel. Uh, it's an open source software, but the website is really awesome. It's really clear. It's straightforward. You cannot miss it. And then you're immediately going to download Obrel OS. Right after, we need to download Benela Eche, which is going to enable us to flash the SD card and so get everything running. All right, while everything is downloading, I'm going to start like plugging the SD card on my computer. So I'm using this little device that was uh, available with the, the whole Raspberry Pi setup box that I received. And uh, it should be straightforward. I've never done it before, but it seems pretty easy. I just need to plug that SD card here, plug that with the C port on my computer and start flashing using a Benelat Edge that we are downloading as well. We're going to flash right now, so we just need to pick up the file that we need and then uh, it's going to be uploaded. So that is the USB card, Generatic Mass Storage USB, so that should be it. Flash! All right, so it's flashing. It's uh, already 5% in, so I hope I'm doing the right thing. Uh, while it's flashing, I'm going to set up the whole hardware device. Uh, so I need to put the component uh, on it to get the cold. I need to plug the ventilators, um, so I have a fence, uh, etc. So I'm going to create that. We're going to start by those little tiny uh, cold thing. All right, so I've put the thing that's supposed to cold it. All right, so it's fixed. Uh, all the things are well lined up, so that's good. I'm just going to put up the fence now. So we have the fence now. We can just fix it with the little screw they give us. All right, so uh, make sure that uh, it's well fixed. And then you need to decide which power uh, capacity you're going to give it. So I'm going to give it 5. The other option is 3.3. Honestly, I have no clue what that means. I'm just going to go for 5 because I think it can and it's efficient enough. If I realize it's making too much noise, I will just change it. All right, so I've created my first Raspberry Pi ever. Well, actually, I haven't created anything. Everything was already made up. I just literally put two things together and it was way harder than I thought. But I've managed to do it. Meanwhile, the flash has been completed. To be fair, it failed once and then I had to uh, reformat the SD card again, do it again, and it worked this time. No idea why. My technique when it doesn't work is just to plug it off, plug it in. That's what I did. It worked. Uh, let's move on. Uh, all right, so I've put the SD card. So now I have a SSD hardware and I have a case so it doesn't break. So I'm just going to plug them all together and use the cable to connect to the Raspberry Pi. All right, so that is done. It was way easier than I thought, so that's good. I'm just going to plug it now. So we're done here. We have everything set up. I just need to plug it to the router and then uh, plug it to the electricity so it starts running, right? So I will uh, leave you here and come back when I have Umbra running on my computer so I can show you what are the next steps. Right, so uh, it should be working by now. I haven't tried on a PC yet, but how it looks like here. So uh, that is flashy, which I think it's a good sign, I hope. Uh, that's plugged in and I have my router right here. Um, so let's go back to the PC and hopefully it's working. All right, so we've plugged the SD card, we've plugged the SSD and we've plugged it to the router. We now turn it on. We need to fight five minutes and then get to embrel.local. 
Uh, it's gonna show up and then we just have to press start. They ask for a password, so we're gonna use a password manager. You know it, we've done some tutorials. You create a new strong password, you plug it, you confirm it, and then you can create manually the umbrella node uh, little tab on LastPass if it doesn't offer it. We continue and then what you see is the seed. You know what the seed is, it's the private key, mnemonic phrase, super important. That is your backup to your Bitcoin, guys. We do not joke about it. So you write it down on a piece of paper, neatly, without anyone looking over your shoulder, without any camera, you do not take a screenshot, you really focused on the best practice that we taught you, right? Uh, you make a copy immediately and you store them in secure location with the others. If anything goes wrong, the seed is what you will need to get access to your money one day. So just do it neatly. Then they're gonna give you your Tor address. That is what you're gonna use if you want to connect to your node from abroad. Uh, you should probably just copy paste it into your LastPass account uh, or into your tab browser, whatever you want, just don't lose it, it's useful. And that's it, you have the last warning. Remember that Umbrella is a beta, don't be reckless. Craig Wright is a fraud, never forget that. And that's it guys, we are into the dashboard. The dashboard is neat as fuck, nothing to say about that. Congratulations on the team. And uh, yeah, you have your synchronization with the blockchain, which is normal, it's gonna take more or less two days, I think, uh, depending on your internet connection and what type of material did you use. You have your lightning node already set up, that's perfect, you need to open some channel, but all of that is gonna be covered in some other video. And then uh, you have all the settings, and what I really like is the app store. So you can literally download BTCP server, you can download some video game, you can really have access to all the good stuff that Bitcoiners have created through your nodes. That is honestly the end of the tutorial. Obviously you realize that we are not gonna cover all the subject of that node on this video. It's gonna be on some other video. I want to show you lightning in depth. I want to show you BTCP server in depth. I want to show you how to use that node to regain your sovereignty. And I really want to, for you to understand that a node is what is gonna enable us to bypass the financial system and the institution. If you have a node, you are sovereign, you can have your own verification of the consensus, you are part of the main Bitcoin ecosystem, and that is awesome, so congratulations to you. Thank you so much again to the person that donated all the material so I can make this video. It's really thanks to you that I can uh, do that so quickly. I'm gonna try finishing some other video. I have to finish for the course before jumping fully into lightning. So we keep like a, a logical order within the video, but lightning is gonna be covered uh, simply because it is the evolution of Bitcoin and it is quite fascinating to be honest. Uh, a node is really accessible, like you saw, if you have 200 bucks, if you have the material nearby you, you can create your node, it doesn't require any skills whatsoever. It was literally the first one, uh, my first Raspberry Pi, and I've managed to do it. Awesome, congratulations to Umbrella team for the job, it's neat, honestly, it's pretty incredible. And from what I've checked, uh, the number of nodes has been increasing quite a lot because of that software, uh, so I'm really happy that some technology like that is making, is making Bitcoin more mainstream and, and that's truly the power of Bitcoin and an open source code. Thanks also to uh, Lune that is contributing to Umbrella's code and has been helping me through this whole process and answering more my technical question. I will definitely be using Umbrella for the rest of the year and it's gonna be the foundation of everything else I want to do later on. So every time I talk about a node, it's gonna be about Umbrella for now. Obviously it's Bitcoin Core, it's not Bitcoin BSV or whatever bullshit that is. Don't forget that uh, Epstein didn't kill himself and uh, stay awesome. Thank you for your support, thank you for everything that you give me, your likes, your share, the donation too, that help uh, producing more video along the, the line you just saw. I'm Roxy, please subscribe, like, comment, I will see you up next week. Take care, bye bye. Everybody will have to make a choice, ignore Bitcoin or adopt it. What's gonna be yours?